So hello guys, this is Pratik here, and today I'll be talking to you about the Lumia JDR3 update, which is somewhat similar to the Lumia Black update. So this is actually given to those people who are developers of Windows phones through a certain app, um, which is known as Developer Preview. So let me just go forward and show you the version of uh, the Windows I'm uh, so the OS of I'm running. So if I go to About and show you that um, the OS version as you can see is the 8.0.10521.115 so this is the really latest version when you compare it and um, so and somewhat similar to Lumia Black Update so in Lumia Black Update what is going to be further is that um, you are going to get more apps which are compatible with Lumia Black Update but it is right now not compatible with this but the core features that will um, be in Lumia Black Update are all, are almost there in this. So let me just walk you through the features. The first um, feature I want to show you is that in settings, if you go to, there are many options added, and um, some something um, as you can see, if I can just zoom in, screen rotation is one. Screen rotation is um, the one which is added, and um, you know this was not there before so auto rotate screen that is there and um, something else known as driving mode is also there i think uh, yeah here yeah. so you set it up and um, welcome to driving mode so here you turns off all notation um, notifications except text and phone calls so this is also a feature of uh, black update uh, sorry uh, the gdr3 update the bluetooth if i'm not wrong let me just find that um uh, the, uh, okay, let me just show you actually the touch. There's some improvements in touch. As you can see, I just felt some improvements, but not that sure if there is. So the storage check. Now storage check now actually gives us the proper guideline or proper mapping of what exactly, can, like which app takes this and which app takes that. So if I go to details, here you'll have the details and here you can see the, it's currently loading as you can see. But uh, it gives you a statistics point of view of what exactly which app is taking your current most of the memory and all that. So uh, depending on the app, you can delete. So as you can see, um, a statistic is given doors and you know my apps which are taking the required memory. So again, here also you have maps and um, let me just go forward and show you, I think Bluetooth, right? So we were there and uh, Bluetooth, yeah, right there. Okay, sorry for that, guys. Bluetooth. So in Bluetooth, also there are some improvements in advance. Connect in a different way to use speech with Bluetooth in cars. So you you can connect to accessories now. Uh, before you wouldn't be able to. In one more thing which I would like to point out is uh, ringtones, right? In ringtones, you can now. Um, um, choose it for different things like uh, here for uh, text message or instant messaging or new voicemail you, before only there was one custom tone right but for now you can actually choose for different things like new email new voicemail or reminders you can choose different um, uh, alerts like different ringtones and um, Internet sharing has also improved. Now you, you can uh, share with the Windows 8.1 devices, pairing them over Bluetooth, right? And um, one more uh, thing where uh, after installing this update is that before when you were going to install a software, like you were formatting your phone, you couldn't get the data over Wi-Fi. But now you can get the data over Wi-Fi. Mobile data, mobile data is not required. And one really exciting thing or one really key feature in this the app switching so you hold the back, back button like this and you have the app switching so here you can close the app or you can navigate between apps navigating before between apps was there but closing apps wasn't there so you this is really cool right you you close apps so this if you're facing problems between hanging or something you close apps i know before also you could close apps but this is a better way to close apps suppose you press the Windows button by mistake and you want to close the app, you have to go into that app and close it again. Um, this is what I saw 
the accessibility accessibility for visually impaired candidates has also improved and you could block calls and all that i think that was there before but yeah so these were the updates that were provided but yes lumia black update you will get um, certain features like um, certain apps like glance screen which is not available in lumia 520 and um, glance screen to certain colors nokia camera then you will get um, storyteller nokia storyteller and um, you'll get nokia beamer so all these are only available compatible with lumia black update so hope you enjoy guys enjoyed this video please do subscribe and like thank you thank you for watching